Good evening, and welcome to Living Room Devotions. As Jesus makes his way toward the cross this week, we see him leave the temple where he has just driven out the merchants and turned over the tables of the money changers. Mark then quickly places us on the Mount of Olives across the Kidron Valley, opposite and in full view of the temple that Jesus just left. Only Peter and his brother Andrew, James and his brother John are with Jesus for this next part. As I read tonight's scripture to you, which by the way is all we'll have time for, Mark 13, 1 through 37, and Revelation 22, 6, what I'm calling the Olivet Discourse with Promise. It's impossible not to notice the apocalyptic nature of what Jesus is saying, but that's not the only point of our considering this passage tonight. What I don't want you to miss, that you might not have considered ever before, is that these are some of the last words spoken by a man who knows he's about to die to some of his closest and dearest friends. That's important for us to think about tonight. And I think all this week, we need to think about the nature and character of Jesus, God's Son, who came to earth, became a man, and loved both his father and his father's children enough to give of himself so completely as to submit to the most gruesome form of torture leading to death known in all the Roman Empire. These are words of warning. These are words of deep concern. These are words of advice meant to protect. Once again, as we will see demonstrated through the rest of this week, all the way up to and even upon the cross, Jesus always showed more concern for the will of his Father and for others than he did for himself. Hear now this account of Jesus' words of warning, words of deep concern for his friends. Mark 13, 1 through 37, and then lastly, Revelation 12, 7. And as, it, and as he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what wonderful stones and what wonderful buildings. And Jesus said to him, Do you see these great buildings? There will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things are about to be accomplished? And Jesus began by saying to them, See that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and they will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. These are but the beginning of the birth pains. But be on your guard, for they will deliver you over to councils and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings for my name's sake, to bear witness before them. And the gospel must first be proclaimed to all nations. And when they bring you to trial and deliver you over, do not be anxious beforehand what you are going to say, but say whatever is given you in that hour, for it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. And brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. 
but when you see the abomination of desolation standing where he ought not to be let the reader understand then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains let the one who is on the housetop not go down nor enter his house to take anything out and let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak and alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days pray that it may not happen in winter for in those days there will be such tribulation as has not been from the beginning of the creation that God created until now and never will be and if the Lord had not cut short the days no human beings would be saved but for the sake of the elect whom he chose he shortened the days and then if anyone says to you look here is the Christ or look there he is do not believe it for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray if possible the elect but be on guard I have told you all things beforehand but in those days after that tribulation the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branches become tender and put out its leaves you know that summer is near so also when you see these things taking place you know that he is near at the very gates truly I say to you this generation will not pass away until all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but concerning that day or that hour no one knows not even the angels in heaven not even the Son but only the Father be on guard keep awake for you do not know when the time will come it is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge each with his own work and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake therefore stay awake for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or in the morning lest he comes suddenly finds you asleep and what I say to you I say to all stay awake Behold, I am coming soon. Pray with me. Dear Lord, we thank you that Jesus loved us so much that he came, that he loved you so much, that he came, that he loved his disciples so much that he came. But he did more than just come he cared Lord he showed so much care for his friends for those who loved him and who he called friends Lord I just pray that you would help us get more of an understanding of how much Jesus loved us and how much the Father loved us during this Holy Week Lord give us a sense of how much we meant to the Father and how much we meant to Jesus. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Patrick will be back with you tomorrow, examining another step on the way to the cross. Here's praying you're staying close to the ones you love and staying especially close to the one who loves you. God bless you all. Good night.